Lake Mead's water level is currently at an all-time low. This is due to the prolonged droughts and overuse of the Colorado River that feeds water mead. Despite the droughts and usage, Lake Mead's water level is a mere 37% of what those levels were in 2000. This is an extremely alarming situation and it needs to be addressed quickly and decisively. Currently, the lake only has enough water to supply about 20 million people across California, Nevada, and Arizona. This water supply would not be enough to effectively supply the entire population of these states. In addition to this, the lake's current water levels also prohibit the construction of the new planned bridges and marinas. This further limits recreational activities that people take part in on the lake. The lake levels are at their lowest point since the lake was first filled in 1936. Lake Mead also serves as a major source of hydroelectric power. With the water levels so low, the hydroelectric power output is also very low, and cannot effectively power the region. This means that the residents of the area must find an alternative energy source. This is not only expensive but it is also inefficient in comparison to hydroelectric power. This means that ultimately the residents of the area must pay more for energy. The decrease in Lake Mead's water level also affects the wildlife in the area. Without sufficient water source, the fish and other aquatic life in the lake suffer. This ultimately leads to an imbalance in the entire ecosystem, with other life forms depending on the lake's aquatic life. If the water levels do not improve in the near future, Lake Mead may become an ecological disaster. This could ultimately lead to a disruption in the food chain of the entire area. The strain that Lake Mead has undergone over time has also caused seismic shifts to the surrounding basin. These seismic shifts have caused land to rise and sink, leading to further damage to the lake's ecosystem. In order to effectively reduce the overall damage done to Lake Mead, drastic measures must be taken. The government needs to step in and create regulations and laws that limit the usage of the Colorado River. Additionally, conservation efforts such as rainwater storing systems must be implemented. Strict consequences must also be put in place for those who abuse the lake's resources. For Lake Mead to improve, it is also essential that funding be set up to carry out research and restoration projects.